What's going on you beautiful people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the people of YouTube, it's Clements back on the mic and today I'm going to be discussing and talking about how we could potentially see the all out blacked rose skin return into Warzone pretty soon. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, please do let me know by smashing that like button and if you're new around here and looking to find your way back, please do consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date with everything Call of Duty and if you are new around here and do happen to subscribe, if you are one of the lucky ones to get a new golden subscribe button, please do screenshot and send it to me over on Twitter or Instagram, both links will be down below in the description, I'd love to hear from you, so without further ado let's jump straight into the video. So as you can see in the gameplay, I am one of the lucky ones that were able to obtain this skin back in Season 5 during Modern Warfare's era and this was included in the Battle Pass, uh, you were able to unlock this all out Black to Rose skin by uh, reaching tier 100 in the Season 5 Battle Pass. So obviously once that battle pass was taken away and the season 5 was completely over moving on to season 6, the skin was therefore locked down, not able to be obtained by anyone else if you weren't one of the ones that completed the battle pass for the past season. And this skin is very heavily wanted, it's very in high demand because obviously it's all out blacked, it looks insane and we've also had a lot of issues with this skin. Uh, the you used to be able to just sit in corners and people wouldn't be able to see you. If you had blacked weapons and didn't put a camera on your gun, you'd practically be invisible. Uh, it was very annoying. There are lots of clips on YouTube, TikTok, whatever, of this skin just basically being invisible in, in dark areas of the map. However, since then, they have made a few tweaks to the skin. Uh, they've made it more of like a grey rather than a black, and the outline of the skin uh, glows up a bit more, uh, especially in darker areas. So it's not as... Uh, pay to win as it used to be but no, nonetheless it's still an insane skin and a lot of people want this skin and rightly so it's completely understandable now getting into the meat and potatoes we do currently have an event going on called operation flashback which if you didn't know already is basically a massive cluster mega event of all the past events that we've gotten in the past 18 months of warzone because obviously we're getting the new map next month, December the 3rd, but for people who have early access it's December the 2nd, but December the 3rd we'll be getting the new Pacific map, uh, Caldera, Caldara, um, and obviously they basically just made this massive nostalgic event uh, for the sake of saying goodbye to Verdansk, which is pretty cool to be fair. And apparently, according to leaks, this is obviously not confirmed, but according to leaks, the rose skin will be made available once again in a vault pack at some point during this Operation Flashback event. And this would make sense because we've seen a lot of vault packs in the past, from past seasons. Uh, we've seen it with a few Mara skins, the Death Dealer skin, the Season 1 skin. Um, a few of operators have also been uh, given vault packs and then vault packs have been made available for people to purchase in the store being sold for a little bit more admittedly a little bit more than what they are worth because you know for people like me back in the day when it were made available in its prime during the battle pass for example the rose skin uh, the battle pass is eight great british pounds and if they were to bring it back in the vault pack in the start it would be full it would be a full 20 dollar bundle so it's quite cheeky of activision but i mean people would pay that because they, they know that these skins are in high demand okay they're not stupid so even though they're a little bit more pricey unfortunately they will still be made available and leaks say that the rose skin will be made available once again as a vault pack. And just to kind of add on to this, if you guys have been on the channel for a while now, you will know that apparently the Jigsaw skin, a very high demand bundle, um, the Jigsaw bundle will be returning apparently according to leaks, this is not confirmed, the 26th of this month, so the 26th of November, we could potentially see the Jigsaw skin return in the store um, during this Operation Flashback event. We don't have a date uh, of when the rose skin will return or if it will return at all. So just keep your eyes on the store guys, keep uh, checking it every day, every time you log in. This Operation Flashback event is kind of cool, I just hate the fact that it's got Juggernauts in it and for that reason I will be completely avoiding the game mode because Juggernauts do not belong in a battle royale. I don't care if it's an event, it's so, if it's an event it's so stupid honestly, like if you're lucky enough to get a Juggernaut suit you've pretty much won the game, all you need to do is encamp and then when the final circle's arrived, you can just go out guns blazing, destroy absolutely everybody. It's ridiculous, man. Anyway, that's an entirely separate video, so I, I won't turn this into a rambling rant, rant video. But um, yeah, so that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I've been Clements, you've been absolutely awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and take care.